Hey guys, welcome back to another video about healthier choices management, ticket symbol HCMC. Today we'll have some big news and potentially another big event coming up. I think this is quite a big um, you know, news to be talking about. But first I do want to talk about probably some of the rights offering that is going to happen. This is also some big news on rights offering as well for some platforms, so do um, you know, pay attention to this. So firstly, these are just people on HCMC Reddit and they're talking about their experience with their selective platform. And I'm gonna just say it in case people who watch this mine, I know you guys are a selective of different platforms as well. So I just feel like I should mention these and um, it may help you. So thank you for choosing Trading212 as your trusted broker. My name is, and I'm part of the customer care team. I would like to inform you that we are aware of the event and we are prepared to offer access to it. If it's possible, at the moment, we are waiting for more information from our intermediary. Once we have more details, we usually send offers to all eligible clients via email or as a platform message. If you need any additional assistance, don't hesitate um, to visit our help center or reach us again. So pretty much, you know, when they get more information, they will just email you guys if you are on um, Trading212. So for anyone who's on Trading212, just wait for an email. But first, Trading212 have to obviously sort their ends out as well. Going to here, this is using HCMC rights offering on the TD Ameritrade platform. For those trading on TD Ameritrade that are still wondering what to do with process, um, process your rights offering, slow the roll for a couple of days. I just got off of the phone with TD Ameritrade and the word is that they're still receiving the processing terms from HCMC. Even though HCMC has posted terms and they are public, those terms take a couple of days to be officially received and reviewed by TDA and then reflected on both the TDA website and app. The TDA representative says she could see that I was a confirmed person for receiving a rights offering but had no terms to complete any transactions. The TDA representative informed me that once the rights offering terms have been received and loaded into the system to look next to the HCMC ticket on the app or website dashboard and there should be a lot for you to see what is available for you to purchase in the rights offering. So um, pretty much, you know, they're also sorting their ends out with HCMC. Seem, so sorry, it seems like so far, you know, these platforms are just sorting their ends out with HCMC and there will be notice, you know, they're pretty much the same as how it is. You know, I just got off the phone with my Fidelity fella. He said that he's over 10 years of doing this. Typically the stocks for the rights offering simply show up in your account with some abbreviation at the end to let you know what they are. So HCMC for regular stocks and HCMC has a RO, rights offering or something for the offering shares. So that's the same for Fidelity Trade. But here's the um, news that I do want you guys to pay attention to. And so for those of you on E-Trade, so just as spoke to E-Trade about HCMC rights offering, they received the instructions and should be able to go live with, with taking the orders for participation early next week. So they seems like they've already sorted out their end with HCMC. Also be advised the person at E-Trade said they would like to cease, um, cease taking orders on May 31st. So this is kind of the big news that I wanted to talk about in terms of the rights offering. So um, do pay attention for those of you who are on E-Trade is that if you obviously want to get in with this, um, again, do it as early as possible because if they obviously um, stop taking orders on May 31st, you'll actually miss out and you know they, their actual end date is in June but this is obviously ending early, so do pay attention to that. And you know that's pretty much about the, the rights offering for those of you who are curious. But right now I wanna talk about something that I think is quite big news and it's not something I gonna enjoy seeing, but it is most likely going to happen since like we've already had the past data on this. And this is a so-called May the 24th. So here you can see a meme, May the 24th, HMC, the best I can do is 0, uh, 0.02. And it's May the 24th, May the 24th, May the 24th. And I think you guys can get kind of what is happening. And essentially what happened on May the 3rd, so this particular day, what happened in this time, is what people want to do again on May the 24th, which is in three days as if I'm recording this, it's actually on the 21st of May as of me recording this. And so it's going to happen in three days. And they want to do, I think what they want to do is this May the 3rd all over again. So we're going to see a lot of volume coming in like that. We're going to see the price going up. So I definitely think we're going to be seeing more buyers coming in because a lot of people have already seen um, the past kind of experience of how this went. So I think a lot of people may, we may even see more volume than before. Now I'm going to talk about how I feel about this and I'll talk about what I think is going to happen because of this. Firstly, I really don't like the fact that this is happening. I think this is very bad for the stocks. This is bad for any investors that is getting into HCMC. And ultimately, I don't think this is doing any good. Obviously, there's gonna be people who will profit from this and profit a vast amount. However, I think overall, in terms of the long run, in terms of just looking at the whole 
investors as a whole, I just don't think this is going to do any good. And I'm going to give my reason why. So obviously, you know, during this time, we obviously saw made, um, you know, HCMC go up pretty much over 100%. And now that's all good and all, you know, this is a stock going up 100%. You've made 100% profit. This is very good, obviously. But, you know, the consequence that came with that was just dropping people who bought in because of this HCMC, people who may have not been aware, you know, there might have been people who bought HCMC just for the sake of buying HCMC because they believe in the company and they're not, you know, keeping up to date with the current news on HCMC. And for those of you who, for those who kind of saw it and see HCMC going up like this, not aware that is an event hosted by the community just trying to like buy into this stock, you know, they may have bought at this very high price and now they suffer from these consequences. Now, obviously, you know, you should always do your due diligence and do your research. So it's, you know, both to be at blame here or rather just both to be, you know, you shouldn't, there's not one obviously take, making a full out mistake, but you know, there are people who are obviously gonna suffer from this um, particular event. Some people who, you know, may have, who lost out on this particular event, I don't think are gonna be participating. And that, you know, could also lead them to not like HCMC and sell their original HCMC shares, which is actually very bad because we're getting rid of investors. And so I think overall, in terms of this, I think, Whilst yes, you can make obviously profit from the May just May twenty fourth if it were to happen, but um, I think in the long run this is actually very bad for the company. Now, in terms of what I think will happen if this May the twenty fourth were to come true, well, it's obviously I think I think just going off the bat, um, I think as of just the start of the week, so Monday, um, you know we are going to see kind of or actually because it's going on to a Friday. We are going to see more buyers coming in. I think if this May 24th is going to be um, spread around, if more communities are going to be aware of this now, if this whole HMC community is going to be aware of this May 24th, then as of tomorrow, so the Friday, we are going to be already seeing buyers coming in. So if you see an increase in volume tomorrow, that will most likely be kind of um, this May 24th. And I think if this May 24th were to happen and you want to make money, obviously the earlier you buy it, the you know, the more profit you technically make. Now, I do want to state this, that I am not actually encouraging May the 24th. I'm merely speculating on what would happen if May the 24th were to happen. I'm, I'm personally not going to do anything, just like how I stopped, you know, how I sat out the May the 3rd. I'm also going to sit out on this May 24th. Um, but we're going to obviously see volume coming in. A lot of people, you know, just before this May the 3rd, we saw a lot of volume um, coming in the day prior, or rather at least the trading day prior. And you know we saw an increase in volume compared to the rest. We saw the price going up by you know 33%. And then the next day when May the third happened, you know we see the market opening at a very high price. So it's actually opened at 25% higher. We went to that high. You know we went 16% higher, but eventually we just dropped out and we even dropped at this point. And so you know we're gonna see a lot of volume coming in for HCMC, and then going closer as we're going closing towards that May 24th when this event gets spread around and people actually want to do this May 24th. You know, again, I think some, just before, prior to the trading day of happening, May 24th or May 23rd, we're gonna see, um, you know, just a lot of volume coming in. And actually the prior trading day, and now that I think about it, should be um, just, so May 23rd, it's, yeah, so it's actually Friday. So as of today, the twenty first of May, it should be the final um, trading, the prior, the last trading day before May twenty fourth, and so we might just see an increase in volume, and then people are going to get in, and then when we do come onto that May twenty fourth, we're just going to see a lot of sellers. You know, we're going to see the price going high, but we're going to see a lot of sellers, and so you know, I for anyone who do want to get into this, um, going off how it happened on May twenty third, obviously buying early would be your best bet, but I think personally, I don't encourage anyone to actually participate in this you know whilst you can profit you can also get you know burnt from this you can also lose a lot from this so i you know i'm personally i'm going to stay clear but and that's what i think about hcmc but yeah that's it for the video guys i hope you guys did enjoy if you guys didn't make sure to press that like and subscribe button down below comment down below what you guys think about hcmc and comment down below what you guys want to see next other than that enjoy your day